In Kansas, there is a claim that a recent change in the handling of CAPERS payments falsely inflates school spending. But the Kansas State Department of Education says otherwise. Here's what happened. A member of the Kansas State Board of Education has written an article that has received widespread attention. But the member, Jim Porter, is wrong on several accounts. In his article, Porter stated that a recent change in the handling of Kansas Public Employees Retirement System, CAPERS, contributions falsely inflate school spending. This is a standard argument of those who want more spending on Kansas public schools. That is, because of a change in the way teacher retirement funds, the CAPERS contributions, are handled it looks like the state is spending more on schools, when in fact it is not. In response, Kansas Policy Institute noted this. According to Dale Dennis, CAPERS funding was last sent directly to CAPERS in 2004. It has since been sent directly to school districts included in reported school funding totals. Here, Dale Dennis contradicts Kansas State School Board member Jim Porter. So, who is Dale Dennis? Why should we believe him? Dale Dennis is Deputy Commissioner at the Kansas State Department of Education and Head of Fiscal and Administrative Services. Even though Dennis is the state's top education finance official, we don't have to rely solely on him to illustrate Porter's error. Information from the Wichita Public School District shows the same. Here is the funding sent by the state of Kansas to USD 259 for CAPERS contributions. As Dennis indicated, in 2005 the Wichita School District started receiving money from the state for CAPERS. Prior to that year it received none. Kansans have to wonder, what is the motivation for Jim Porter, a member of the Kansas State Board of Education and a school superintendent for 34 years, to write something like this? Something that is directly refuted by the Kansas State Department of Education. Is he being told incorrect information? Or is he simply lying?